Uh, here comes. Things are about to get good. Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. Starting as one of the superstars in the ring is one thing. You know what you have to do, but what about the superstars that start in the pods, Byron? It's all about a game plan. It's about understanding when you're in your pod, looking at how the action is breaking down, understanding what you need to do once you get into this incredibly difficult match. Saxton, everyone has a plan until they get hit in the mouth. That certainly applies here. Corey makes a good point. Plans are one thing, but reality has a way of intruding. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. And Michael's unable to defend himself. But he knew he'd take a beating inside the chamber. He prepared for this and still has plenty left in the tank. That could produce a dislocation or at the very least, a pinched nerve. Clothesline. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Michael's with the awareness. Next one up in the Elimination Chamber. Nothing to separate these competitors now. Fighting back with a counter. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Put down the face first. And clearly stooping low with that attack. Illegal in many sports, but that was used effectively in there. the most dangerous position for any competitor to ever be in. You gotta hope there's no irreparable damage done. With the Lariat. Oh, close line. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. Up into the fireman's carry. And bang! Opened and here comes Van Dam. Punch right in the head. Floor of the Russian leg sweep. Corey, how does strategy change when a new competitor is released from their pod? You only have a moment to make a first impression, and it's up to you whether the impression is with your fist, a cage, or a bargain. Ooh, a bargain? Yeah, there's no rules that say you have to fight everyone in a match. Make an alliance. You can run the field. If you're the only two left in the match, you can both get some rest. Sequence of reversals there. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. Michael's got it all with the flying form. Tuning up the band is HBK. Sweet Taker back now. The pod's open. Got to find a way out of the guillotine. They're not going to last long. I'm going to bridge it out. Incredible. Ooh. Right to the knee. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Control. Face Buster plants him. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Superman punch. Oh, the spin. A paid look on Michaels. He's there. One elimination down, but the end's not here. The pressure's only growing in the chamber. Just so you know. Triple H's time has come in the chamber. Into a top lock. And impact 
lethal display of offense we just witnessed there. He is just reeling from that offense. This is the toll the Elimination Chamber takes on a competitor. You're going to be battered at this stage of the match. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Punch connects. Oh no, trapping the arm. A vicious stomp to the hand. Cut with a clothesline. Setting up for something here. He 
He's heading back to the ring. Great reversal. Super kick. Reversal from RVD. Three superstars are left standing within the Elimination Chamber. There's not a single person sitting in this arena. It's pandemonium, Cole. Face first. Going up top. Rob Van Dam. Five star from the splash from RBD. And here we are, only one fall away from a win. Precision strikes. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm. Has the arm trapped. Oh, stop right to the hand. Ooh, Van Dam avoids contact. Big knee to the midsection. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. RVD puts the man right where he wants him in the drop zone. RVD gonna climb to the top rope. Split like a moonsault. Launching himself from the ropes. Attempting high risk move after high risk move and a breakneck. Tonight, Rob Van Dam enters a whole new stage of his career. He goes home with the gold tonight. A great blend of tenacity and physical skill brings home the gold. Winning a championship in WWE is no small.